Hello everybody. This is Sherry from The Right Stuff. Welcome back. I have a new pen, one I've really been looking forward to getting. I've ordered this quite a while, but I ordered it from Japan. So, um, it took a little while to get here, but I'm really glad that it's here finally. I was really anxious to show this to you. Um, oh, it's got a little... Uh, it came a little crane in the package. That's really cute. Look at that. That's really cute. I like that. I like getting little stuff. I think everybody does too. Hmm. Wonder how you pull this out, I suppose, like that. I don't think I can make it stand. But that's pretty cute. That was nice. Um, it did take quite a long time to get this. I ordered it in, I think, a month and a half ago, and um, it is the, uh, it's got a nice little box here, it says Pilot, with embossed on it, and uh, let's look inside and see what we have. Nice pin case, I've heard a lot of people say it's a pin coffin, but as I've said before in the past, I prefer a pin case. Um, and so I know that's probably technically incorrect. Sorry, while I adjust the camera here. Um, but this is nice plastic. Um, it's got a little logo there. And open it up and has a looks like a business card there and your information and a little protector and it has one um, proprietary ink cartridge here for pilot and this is a Estella 90s with 14 karat nib this um, uh, this is a pretty little pen. I'd heard, seen a couple other pen reviews, and it's, I don't, uh, this is a um, pearlescent white here. It's uh, a pretty little pen. I'll take the little tag off and put it in there and set that to the side. And we'll take a look at this. It is a um, small pen. I'll give you a look. Here's a Pilot Lucina pin. It's just a little bit bigger in height. And uh, get a look at that. There's a Pilot Lucina. And here is a, um, let's see, what else will I compare it to? How about this? Uh, this is a Skillcraft. Pin. That's one of the larger pins. Here's a Skillcraft pin and uh, this Stella 90 pin. So you get an idea of the size range that it is. And uh, it has a nice silver clip and it has a um, cap band. It has right here, it says. Stella 90s in the front on the cap band has a little indentation with black enamel and here is a pilot Japan it says on the back it has white finials at the end silver clip like I said silver cap band a nice silver ring silver ring around here I'm sorry I had that off I wasn't watching through the camera um, but there is the Stella 90s and the Pilot Japan. And it has a nice little um, cap. It really, you pull it off, it's got a nice satisfying click. It really feels like it's really sealing that off nice. And, um, it's, and it has a 14 karat nib that is a number three nib. So, got a little splatter of ink there. I filled this up um, with a Ottoman 
Azure. This is the ink that I've got in here. And I will do a little writing sample for you. Um, I'm going to clean that up real quick. Just make sure we don't smear it everywhere, which looks like I already did. Um, I'll do a writing sample. I'm trying to get a notebook to show you. Um, I put in it just to show you real quick. It came with that one proprietary um, in cartridge and I, I bought on eBay, it was cheaper than Amazon, this Con 50 uh, converter and it fits real nice in there. And as I said, I got Ottoman Noodlers, Ottoman Azure in there. And let's see how this writes. Um, Uh, it's a really smooth nib. They were right about that. This has got a little spring to it. Uh, it's really nice, smooth. Um, really nice nib. This seems, I don't know if we can get any line variation. I wouldn't want to push it too hard. This is an expensive nib, but it has a little tiny bit, not much. Uh, but it, it is a springy nib. It's a uh, it's nice. I really like this. This is really a smooth, smooth nib. 14 karat gold, my first um, gold nib. Uh, it, it seems to really be nice. I like this. This is Clairefontaine, um, a tablet, a little Clairefontaine notebook. And, uh, and, Yeah, I like that. I like the ink. It's pretty blue. I like the Ottoman Azure. It has nice shading. Um, but the pen itself, this is really a nice pen. I really like this. It has a nice, satisfying little click to it. It's very pretty to look at, I think. It has clean lines. I like that. It's uh, nice, small. I don't post it, and it was fine fine for me to not post this, but you can post it. Uh, most people would probably would want to post it. I don't think it would be bad posted, um, but um, you can see in my hand about what it is, what it posted, and uh, so it, it's a nice pen. I recommend it. I, I just barely got it. I, I will be using it over the next few weeks and but uh, I really enjoy this. Here's a nice look at it. It's uh, I got this at a really nice price on Amazon. I keep it in my wish list, different stuff. I've been looking at it. This is known as a Stargazer, and they run about $150 some dollars. Um, but this still is exact same pin as a Stargazer. You can order it from Japan. It takes a little while to get here, but I waited, got mine for $69. Um, on Amazon and so 14 karat nib uh, that is a really good buy and it's a nice really nice pin I like these smaller pins so I hope you enjoyed a look at this and uh, it, we had a really good time on vacation for those that kept us in your prayers thank you and as always God bless you all and you have a great week see you here again soon bye